Typically, the physical design flow starts with a RTL or a gate level synthesized netlist and it ends with the physical design engineers delivering the final layout or GDS. So this flow which we are going to discuss here, it varies from company to company but here we are going to discuss the most generic flow which consists of five steps here. So the first step is the inputs stage where all the input files or collaterals are read into the PNR tool. So the most important of these inputs are the .v files. So usually it could be RTL or gate level synthesized netlist. So let's say that the RTL is already synthesized in this case and we are starting our flow from a gate level netlist. The next one is the UPF file which is the power intent of the design. We will have a dedicated video on this later. Another important input collateral are the SDC files or the timing constraints. So any clock definitions or IO port constraints like input delay, output delay, max delay or any timing exceptions are a part of SDCs. The second step is the floor plan step. So in floor plan step the first thing we do is to define the shape and the boundary of our partition. Also if we have any hard macros in the design like any SRAMs or PLLs or analog blocks etc then they will be placed during the floor plan step. At this stage physical cells are inserted. So here we can see that uh, end caps are being inserted along the boundary of the partition as well as along the boundary of the hard macros in our design. Also as an example we can see the columns of these tab cells which are being inserted throughout the design as well as there are decap cells which are also inserted throughout the design in floor plan stage. The next thing which also happens during floor plan stage is the port placement. So as you can see in yellow we have a bunch of input and output ports on the left and right edge of this partition. So they are also placed at the desired location in floor plan stage. And lastly, the most important thing which happens during the floor plan step is the PG grid creation, which basically means that a power delivery network will be created using metal layers to deliver power to the standard cells which will be placed in your design. Voltage area creation also happens during floor plan state. So for example, if you have multiple power domains in your design, then there will be multiple voltage areas so that will also be happening during this stage the third step is the placement step so during placement step all the cells which are present in your dot v netlist they will be placed in the design so here we can see that we have a bunch of flops and combinational logic in red and orange so all these cells will be placed in the design during placement step legalization will also happen which means that there will be no overlaps between the standard cells and all the standard cells will be sitting on legal locations on standard cell rows which were created during the floor plan stage the next step is the cts or clock tree synthesis during clock tree synthesis the clock is distributed to all the clock pins in the design so in this case we have a clock called clk which is coming into our partition through a clock port here. So this clock will be distributed to all the clock pins of all the flops or hard macros in the design while trying to meet the target latency which we specify and also trying to minimize any skew in the design and also honor the clock transition values which are specified. So basically a balanced clock tree will be created to all the clock sinks in the design. The last step is route. So all the signal nets in the design which are shown as green in this picture will be routed using actual metal layers. So the aim of the route step will be to achieve 100% routed design which will give us our final GDS or layout. Note that at each of these steps there are multiple sub steps which are going on and there are many things which happen. So for example during route step it does not only route the nets in the design 
Besides, it tries to minimize the DRCs and opens and shorts in the design. Also, it does timing fixes like buffer upsizing, buffering of long nets, etc. Similarly, at placement and CTS step, also the timing optimization takes place through cell swapping, buffer insertion, buffer addition, etc. So, we will discuss each of these individual steps in much more detail in future videos. But hope this video helps in getting a high level understanding of the physical design flow.